What if Donald Trump was in Red Dead Redemption 2? Now, I bet you can already answer this for yourselves. There would be a wall separating New Austin and the rest of the map. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. We all know that, but unfortunately, we cannot build a wall in this game. Okay, our goals for this challenge are very, very simple. Number one, we have to look like Trump, and that's it. Okay, so we are going to go into the first town that we get in, that we get to, and we are going to try and buy some clothes. I don't know how expansive the clothing options will be because some towns only have the general store for clothing options. So we'll see what we get in Valentine. Okay, so Trump is normally seen wearing this black suit with this red tie. And in Valentine at the general store, I could not find anything even remotely close to that apparel or like what he wears. And I know there's a black like blazer type thing um, that you can get at the end of the story. Um, but you have to have Max Honor and you have to do it at the end of the game, which I'm not at the end of the game. And I do not have Max Honor. So we're going to go to Sand in the East and see what we can find there. Okay, we found every single thing that we need at the San Anthony Taylor. So now we're going back to Horseshoe Overlook to put on the outfit and get Donald Trump some guns. Okay, this is the final outfit reveal and now we have to get Donald Trump some guns. Okay, Donald Trump being the absolute G that we know he is and the amazing American that we know he is. we also know that he would be sporting two shotguns not just one and he would have no need for a rifle because he's american and he's good with the shotgun are you okay reverend isn't it good to be out of that goddamn snow why are you so chipper we're gonna be good we are gonna be great Faith, my son. Sorry, can this wait? Me and Mary Beth have Can't been so worried hear me about out you. These days. <laughs> you girls here have beautiful hearts. Really, you do. I don't know about that. But we care about you. You seem very sad. My life took a turn for the worse when I took up with morphine and opium. I was told it would alleviate my suffering, and in many ways, they were correct. It made all my previous suffering just seem ridiculous. Now I had real suffering. My faith, my family. And but for Dutch and you poor people, I would have lost my life long ago. I'm 